Turning now to ground number seven. Ground number seven, and this is important for members to know, is that serious reasons to believe that His Excellency Rigathi Gashagua. The ground is about serious reasons to believe. So you all, all you need is to believe. All you need is to believe that he has committed crimes. All you need in law is to believe that Rigathi Gashagwa has committed crimes. That is the threshold. If in your mind you believe that Rigathi Gashagwa, by the narration that I'm going to give, has committed crimes, then you vote in the affirmative. Serious reasons to believe that Rigathi Gashagwa has committed crimes under sections 45, 1A46 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act and sections 2, 3, 4, 7 of the Process of Crime and Money Laundering Act. And Mr. Speaker, our allegation here is that the Deputy President in the last two years has amassed wealth that during the short period that I was able to do research totals to about 5.2 billion which is inconsistent with his known sources of income and with his last declaration of income. Mr. Speaker, it will be remembered that during the presidential debate, the Deputy President did declare that he was worth 800 million. It is also known by virtue of the gazettements by the Salaries and Remuneration Commission that he earns a million or thereabout per month, and therefore he needs to show where he got the money to amass these properties. The import of my allegation is twofold. Number one, there is what we call unexplained assets under the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act. And number two, there is money laundering. Mr. Speaker, in my motion, I have listed a total of 22 companies, 22 companies that I believe the Deputy President has been using, number one, to amass, to award himself through conflict of interest, businesses in his office and in government. And number two, to purchase properties using unexplained sources of income. Mr. Speaker, it will be remembered that yesterday during the televised interview, the Deputy President went through all the companies and they did not deny that either of them belongs to him. All he did was to say that he registered some of them before he became Deputy President. I am not interested in the time that the companies were, were, were registered. I am interested in what the companies have done in the last two years. And I will demonstrate that, some of, that these companies have actually done economic crimes against the people of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, I have also listed properties. I have listed a number of properties that the Deputy President has purchased within the two years that he has been in office. I have listed Treetops Hotel in Nyeri. I have listed Olive Gardens Hotel. I have listed Queensgate Service Apartments. I have listed Wamunyoro Investments Land in Mbakasi. I have listed the Abadea Treetops Hotel, Outspan Hotel, Olive Gardens Hotel, and the Pingo Beach 